This is an unchained, self-programmed news The wife of Rock's embarrassment, Ted Nugent, has been arrested after a handgun was discovered in her carry-on luggage at an airport security checkpoint. As a responsible gun owner, I comprehend that mistakes can happen. However, when you carry a gun on your person or transport a weapon, you have to be aware of your surroundings. You have to repeatedly remind yourself that your inadvertent incorrectness could result in another person's death or injury. This said, any gun owner that frequently or infrequently travels comprehends the TSA and airline companies have security rules when transporting firearms. Being that her husband is a board member of a $219 million organization, if not more, and the fact that she, via her husband and personal experience, must be aware of airlines, as well as state, local, and international government's rules. Well, knowing this, her excuse of making an honest mistake is not good enough. Though a reasonable person can question her ability to make an appropriate, logically valid decision, being that she is married to Ted and continues her intimate union after his persistent public displays of morally reprehensible behavior. This said, it will be interesting if this turns into another case where a pseudo-celebrity, being that she is coupled to an attention whore, well, it will be interesting to see if she gets away with her honest mistake. Being black myself, and the fact, according to racial profilers, that one like myself, by appearance alone, mind you, would be deemed suspicious, it would be likely that even though I have a clean record, I would be punished. We hear yearly of people being accused of committing a crime they didn't commit and still being convicted, while celebrities go through drug-fueled binges, sexual abuses of children, or an honest mistake with little to no consequence in the jury of public opinion or in a court of law. Of course, we can, with some degree of accuracy, anticipate that this will not get the same attention it would if this was a case of reckless gun handling by a black male, let's say. Heck, it would be even better if this black male was famous. Hmm, I bet his shelf life with many white ultra-conservative Americans would expire rather quickly. When it is all said and done, I encourage you to do a comparison of the prosecution of people of color who are responsible gun owners, speaking of ones who make an honest mistake, and Ted's reported main squeeze.